Good morning. It is July 30th. Wow. How did we get here already? How did we get to July 30th already? I have no idea. All right. Uh, I am Renee Olson. I am the News River Witch, and I am here to do your single card pull. It has been an interesting time off. I've been um, on staycation uh, for the last three or four days, and I've been able to do a lot of work on the channel and get all that up and running. Um, I appreciate the feedback that I've gotten so far. It's been very helpful. Um, I've also been able to um, get some orders packaged up, so um, your decks will be shipping today. Um, so they should be there by the end of the week and I will send an email with the video guide as well as the um, digital uh, PDF um, that I use for uh, creating the book. Printing is expensive. So this is a self-published deck, so I, I don't have any assistance with it. So it's just me creating it from beginning to end. So I'd love to have you check it out. And if you have purchased the deck and have any feedback, um, I'd love to hear about it. Um, I have this deck, the River Witch Oracle, and I also have the Crossroads Oracle. Um, and that is my devotional deck to the Goddess Hecate. I think we might switch over soon. Um, I don't know if I want to do it on Lamas or if I want to wait, you know, maybe on Samhain, I'm not sure. Um, we'll see, but I'll switch over to one of the other decks um, and, and share that with you. Um, so, let's pull a card. Remember your tea, very good for you. All right, so here's our card. So I'm gonna hold this up for you. And it looks like you should be able to see it. Um, this card is the Spanish Moss card love Spanish moss. If you have ever been down around New Bern um, in North Carolina, they, the streets, there's a, uh, a church right on the corner. Um, it has beautiful Spanish moss hanging from other trees. Absolutely love it. Yes, I know it's a parasite, um, but I absolutely love it. Um, the three key words for Spanish moss is intrigue, aging, and shelter. So what does this card mean to us? Intrigue, right? So obviously intrigue is mystery, it's um, looking within, it is exploring and learning more about what's around you. Um, it's that, that, that sense of awe in my opinion, right? So it's how you're able to connect with those things around you that bring you that excitement. Aging, right? Aging, we all do it. It's only a matter of time. Aging is something that you look at. That's funny, only a matter of time. See what I did there? Um, anyway, it is a, a way of moving forward. It's a way of maturing and growing. It's a way of learning. Um, when you think about this, we can look at our current uh, political environment and our, our world in general, um, that what we're as human beings are doing to our planet and how we are contributing to um, the destruction of the environment that is suitable for human beings. Um, I do not believe for a second that human beings can destroy the planet, right? I believe that human beings can destroy the planet for human beings. Um, and that's what we're doing basically. We're overfishing our oceans, we are polluting our oceans, we are destroying the soil. We're, I mean, there, there's scientific evidence that the food that we grow in the ground today is less nutritious than the food that our grandparents grew. And that's just, you know, one generation, right? Just one step away. We, you know, our grandparents who had farms and who had gardens their food actually had more nutrients than ours today and that's the reason you see this push for all these children's supplements children's drinks you know those little drinks that they have oh the vitamins because our food is devoid of of uh, the nutrients that we need to live and that's directly related to what we are doing to our environment this is what's contributing to the unnatural aging right now they're prescribing cholesterol and beta blockers for children because our food is so horrible um yeah bad stuff and i think maybe maybe this week i'll do a talk about um, on friday i'll do a talk about how uh, about nutrition and wellness 
um, because that's something that's very important to me and I think it's something that we can touch on a little bit. Um, our next word is shelter, right? So you can look at shelter several ways. Shelter is a structure, right? A physical place, or it is um, what you're doing to yourself. It's a metaphoric way of protecting yourself. Um, so when we see this card and we think about the Spanish moss hanging above and how it sort of shelters the area that it's in, you wanna draw on that energy and decide if you are the person providing shelter or if you are the person who is um, needing to be sheltered. Um, depending on where you are at your point in your life, it's going to be one or the other. Um, a great way to think about this is, you know, think of where you are in your life and what this means to you. Maybe it's not a life thing. Maybe it's just today. Maybe today you need shelter. Maybe today you need to shelter someone else. Um, so that's our card for today. I hope it was helpful. Um, today is the second to the last day, but one more day left of the 30% off discount on the website. And that includes all of my products. It includes the two decks that I mentioned, as well as some, custom, uh, some items that we created for the shop. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them uh, at the bottom in the comments area. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. I love the feedback. Keep it coming. Your personal messages can continue as well. But again, Please share that with everyone else because I think it would be very beneficial. I had a very uh, long conversation with someone just yesterday about the video yesterday and I think the entire group could have benefited. Um, but you know, feel free, whatever you're comfortable with. I hope you have an amazing Tuesday and I'll talk to you soon.